Hey guys, welcome to the session by K21 Academy. In this session, we are going to talk about various application services in AWS. So the set of services that we would be talking about, they are categorized under application services, which in general are very commonly used in every application that we develop. So we use SES, which is simple email service and the service that eliminates the complexity and expanse of building your own in-house email solution. So you can directly integrate the SES service with your applications to send and receive emails. So most commonly it is used for sending emails. And then you have SNS, which is simple notification service, where it gives you the ability to send messages to multiple endpoints. So multiple endpoints could be your email or SMS messages or Lambda function, or you can post your messages directly to your websites on HTTP or HTTPS. So let's talk about a very simple example for SNS. So let's say you are making a banking transaction. So you will be notified through email and SMS as well, right? So either you could build two services, one for sending email and one for sending SMS messages. Else use one service to deliver messages to multiple endpoints. And then SQS. So it gives you the ability to have hosted highly available queues that can be used for messages being sent between servers. So this allows for creation of distributed or decoupled application components. And lastly, simple workflow service. So it is a service that makes it easy to coordinate work across distributed application components. So every application has workflows rather than your application tracking the workflow. You would rather use service like SWF to track the workflow of your application. Now let us take a quick glance at the agenda. Firstly, we will be talking about SNS, which stands for Simple Notification Service. So it is based on a PubSub model and can send messages to multiple endpoints and also allows you to push mobile app notifications, right? And then we will be talking about SES, which stands for Simple Email Service. And you can use this SES service to send emails from your applications. And then we will be talking about SQS. So it is a simple queue service. A messaging service where it allows you to build loosely coupled environments where in traditional environments we see that if one component of your application was to fail the entire application fails whereas using a service like SQS helps you to build loosely coupled or decoupled environments and then finally we will be talking about SWF which is a simple workflow service so it is a service that makes it easy to coordinate work across distributed application components so we have taken a clip from one of our certification training program on AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate SAAC02. And in this clip, our expert will talk about application services in AWS. Hey there, welcome back. And in this lesson, we're going to look at some of the application services. We provide help or uh, things like SNS, which is a simple notification service, SCS, which is simple email service, SQS, a simple queue service and simple workflow service. So let's look at begin with simple notification service. Now, as name suggests, uh, this is a fully managed messaging service for both application to application or application to per person. So let's suppose I have an application which you need to notify for uh, a, uh, to give an example, I have a, a new invoice ready for me to approve as a business user. So the application can send a e email or a SMS message or a pager or whatever form of notification to a person say uh, do so and so or just maybe notify a person. So that's one. Um, one way of notification or simp another one is application to application notification. So maybe I can say if a data is stored into a um, storage bucket, uh, then uh, notify um, maybe another system to pick that or do some processing on that data. So that's notification. It's basically on a pub sub model. You have a publisher and you have a subscriber uh, that provides a high throughput push based uh, many to many messaging. So you can have multiple systems um, sending the message and multiple uh, systems receiving the system as well. So that's a uh, simple notification uh, service um, that can also uh, be used. Uh, for example, you have a, um, sim a simple notification service a topic that uh, your publishers can uh, send the data and then send it out to multiple subscribers. That subscribers could be through a simple uh, SQS uh, queue 
or AWS Lambda function HTTP message for parallel processing. So to give an example here, I have a message publisher uh, which want to publish the message, which could be uh, whatever form of message that is. Now my simple notification service will fan out and give it to maybe depending on what the configuration you have, it can send it to simple queue service to, uh, a, to for sending further processing. It can send a message to or notification to Lambda function for doing some processing or it can do a HTTP endpoint call or maybe a webhook call so that it can then further in turn call any other HTTP based um, service. So that's simple notification service. Then you have a simple queue service, which is basically a message queue implementation on AWS cloud. Uh, so you have uh, multiple, uh, let's suppose you, to give a very simple example, you have a order a system and um, the mess and that simple order management system has a lot of messages in terms of processing, for example, processing, processing multiple different type of message and depending on different, uh, different requirement, you can have first in first out, which means all the messages will be processed in a particular order or it can be in, um, uh, you can put some other, um, message queue or message algorithms for that queue. So simple queue service is a fully managed queue service that enables you to decouple and scale microservices, distributed services, uh, systems and uh, serverless applications. Um, so using sim queue service, you can send, store and receive messages bet between different components without you having to worry about uh, losing any messages or availability or any other scalability requirement. Now you can um, use the simple queue service uh, either using web service console or uh, AWS console, command line interface or SDK uh, in simple queue service. So this is an example of where I'm using simple notification service and simple queue service to do some processing. Uh, it's like basically where you, if you have worked on Java messaging queues, JMS in applications, so something similar on AWS cloud. Then you have a simple email service, uh, which is, let's suppose you have to send some transactional emails um, where let's suppose you're, uh, you're provisioning the server and you want to notify or the end user saying server is ready, or you want to send in for marketing bulk emails. So uh, it can send out thousands or thousands of users or subscribers, all the emails. So simple email service SES is a cost effective flexible and scalable email service that helps developers to send emails from within any application. It can be a transactional email, which means like something happened and you want to inform user uh, for a transaction. It could, transaction could be uh, maybe a server being provisioned or application being deployed and so on or it could be marketing message or mass email for just for communication. You'll be using, you can use this simple email service. Um, now, one of the important criteria in simple email service is that, or for deliverability of your email service, if the email is received by Google, or for example, you're using Gmail, I'm using Gmail and I'm getting a call or email from us, uh, my AWS uh, SCS, the health of that SES service or your domain should be quite good as well in terms of uh, reputation should be good. It should not be marked as being spammy and SES will help you in telling that, hey, if you're sending an email in bulk, that hey, that might be marked as a spam because you're sending it, that content which is written, uh, that based on that content uh, as well. So SES has a lot of other features as well like that to protect the sender's reputation by sending the analytics measure uh, on the impact of that each email that you're sending. So that is SES. So here's an example. I can use different ways to send that email. Uh, simple either uh, I'm running a, a PHP application and I need to send an email through SMTP daemon. I can integrate with Amazon SES or I have some libraries or application like .NET or Java application that needs to send an email or my a software development kit or through uh, the console itself. Um, so it will then send it emails to the system. Then uh, finally, it's a simple workflow queue which is helps developers. It's mainly uh, workflow and most of these uh, services that you see are mainly for developer target for, for your use in your application. So simple workflow service helps developers to build, run and scale background jobs that have parallel or sequential steps. 
So if you're building an application that needs to be, uh, that have multiple steps and you want this multiple steps to be done uh, either serially or parallelly, uh, you want to make sure that all these uh, workflows are being tracked. Um, so workflow, uh, simple workflow service is basically a fully managed uh, uh, set of tasks you can run in the background and then coordinate and making sure that these steps either complete successfully or being notified in case and you know, a problem. So it helps uh, if your application is having more than 50, uh, 500 milliseconds to complete, make sure that the task is being tracked properly. So that's what simple workflow will help. It also uh, helps if you have a, your application have a requirement to recover or retry if a task failed. In that case, you'll have simple workflow. So an example of use case, you're doing a, uh, order fulfillment right from start till end. So your customer says uh, or places an order, it verifies that order is correct, it charges uh, the process charges credit card, uh, then ship that order or check the inventory. Um, based on that, if um, inventory is correct, then charge the credit card and then prepare that order and ship it and then record the completion. All these are different uh, workflow basically, and you make sure that these workflows either one after another in this, this is an example of serial workflow, which means sequential workflow, which means a task will be completed one after another. Uh, when the credit card is be, being charged, then only you um, ship the order and so on. Or you can have some task or workflow, which is uh, which multiple process can run or start in parallel. So that's simple workflow. So these are some of the application services um, which are SNS, SCS, SQS, and Simple Workflow Service. Now, if you want to go into here, you can just search for SCS, Simple Email Service, or Simple Workflow Service, or Simple Simple Queue Service. I can go and click on Simple Queue Service, and you can go and create these services from the console, and you can play with that if you're if you need any queue service. So I'm here starting a queue and then you can use that queue in your application uh, depending type of this is first in first out this is a standard uh, uh, one delivery or once delivery or best effort delivery and depending on what your comment are you can do the queues as well so that's about application services so we have put down everything about the certification including the basic concepts that one should know everything like introduction to aws security management aws object storage options designing computing environment networking and monitoring services, leverage Route 53 for hosting zones, database server and analytics, application and messaging services, configuration management and automation, architecting on AWS 1 and architecting on AWS 2. So in this training, we take you from basic to advanced level along with the tips and resources for clearing the certification exam. We also have a separate team working for CV preparation and on-job support. So if you want to become an AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate, and want to learn right from basics to expert level, then we have a comprehensive step-by-step -step training for you that includes hands-on labs, including the exam preparation and most important part, one year on-job support. So if you are interested in this program, I would highly recommend you to attend the free class which covers most of the topics like why and who should learn AWS, cloud service deployment models and AWS services, demo on creating S3 bucket and making data available to the entire world, and many other topics. So if you are interested in this free class, you can visit k21academy.com slash awssa02.